America's craft chocolate scene is booming, with more and more people looking to artisans to get their chocolate fix. And helping to satisfy that craving are companies like Dandelion Chocolate. Tell me about Dandelion. We are Dandelion Chocolate. We are a small batch chocolate maker. That means we actually get cocoa beans and turn them into chocolate right here. And why chocolate? I've always loved chocolate. Um, it's always been a hobby and passion of mine. A few years back, my friend and I had some free time. We took over a friend's garage. We got some duct tape and some PVC pipe, and we started building machines and roasting up cocoa beans. And before we knew it, we had a chocolate factory. I mean, that's amazing. Dandelion grew into a totally tricked out factory in San Francisco's Mission District, where I'm suiting up to make some chocolate. Chocolate. How are we feeling about this look? Uh, yeah, it's a good look for you. Chocolate couture? Let's do it. Sweet. So this is a cacao pod. Yeah. This is not a bean. This is a fruit, and what happens is when they're ripe, uh -huh. the farmer cuts them off the tree and cuts them open. Inside, you'll find a white fruit, and inside that white fruit, you'll find the seeds, the cocoa beans. Wow. So we're going to make chocolate from the seeds of the cacao fruit. First step, you want to take a couple scoops of these and put it on the tray. Feels like a solid scoop to me. And then just sprinkle them? Yeah, just sprinkle them out. Okay. Um, so these are some beans that have been fermented and dried, and these are from Montuano, Venezuela. We need to get rid of the bad beans. So, so we've got a we've got, we've a, got a job to do. Yep. Yeah. So is this too cracked? Yep. Yep. Definitely want to reject that. Okay. That's no bueno. That no bueno. No bueno on that bean. Um, how are we feeling about this one? Oh, that feels pretty good. <laughs> How many beans? We need a lot of beans. I think a lot of beans, yeah. I think about 50 beans is going to be a chocolate bar. I've got three so far. <laughs> After sorting and roasting, we crack the beans open to get to the good stuff. Inside these little bits of bean, these are the nibs. We take our little nibs and we grind them down, and then we keep grinding for three days until we have chocolate. Whoa! Yeah. Looks like the emoji that I have on my phone. And as for the taste, Ooh. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah, a little strong. Need to add something to it, right? A little, eh? little something. And that something is what separates Dandelion's craft chocolate from most of the world's industrial chocolate. Okay, so all you add to the cocoa beans is organic cane sugar? That's right, it's just two ingredients, beans and sugar. And how does that differ from other kinds of chocolate? Um, so most chocolate would have a lot of things added to it, at least extra cocoa butter, vanilla, and lecithin. This is as pure as you can get. Is there a difference in taste to the origin of the bean? Exactly, so it's very much like wine or coffee, where every bean has its own unique flavor. We're trying to bring out that flavor. Most big companies see that as a defect and they want all their chocolate to taste the same. So this is Dominican Republic and it has two days more to go. I can tell. It's in that process where it's starting to taste good but it just needs a little bit more grinding. <gasps> hey. Okay, look at that. After clearly acing Chocolate Making 101, we graduate to the Dandelion Cafe for my final lesson. The most important thing is that you don't eat it too quickly. Some notes come out after 10 or 15 seconds, wow. so let it melt. What bars am I trying? Montuano, Venezuela. Those are the beans that you worked with earlier today. And then Zorzal, Dominican Republic, and Madagascar. The only difference between these three bars is where the bean is from. This is the beans I worked with. That's right. Just put it up. Just okay. And just bite. Yeah. And let it melt. Mmm. I've never tried chocolate slowly like this. You really get the, the smell, the taste, it's melting in your mouth. This one is more on the chocolatey side. The next two are getting pretty interesting. So now try this one, see if you notice the difference. The notes of this one are more like caramel and walnut. Yeah, really nice. And then the last one is gonna be crazy. I like crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's It's like different. citrus and fruit. Yeah. So there's no added fruit, there's no added citrus. This is just the bean itself. Wow, that's so interesting. Well, I have to tell you, I mean, this is some amazing chocolate, and I love what you're doing. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks, Todd.